Ano pa na yung naging pinaka-importante yung kanta ng Spanish ko? Not necessarily in terms of being a hit, but as a, as a, as a band with members as artists. Ako feeling ko jeepney. Kasi so much of our story parang lies dun sa idea na we were all just a bunch of classmates at one point. Except Ted who's two batches higher. <laughs> so parang yun, that idea na it's founded, it's a love song so it's very us. But it's also parang when we play it parang you feel the friendship there. Tapos parang I, and it's also written by, a, yung lyrics written by a friend of ours na hanggang ngayon is still our friend. So parang yun, parang it just kind of gels us together and in, in, when we play it live, it still parang it reintroduces us to people na first time kami nakita na parang yun pa rin yung parang pinapakilala pa rin namin yung lumang sarili namin hanggang ngayon. Hey, second. Yes. <laughs> Actually, oh, tama, yeah. tama si yeah. <laughs> Every time we play it live, for me, naalala ko yung mga yung mga early days din kung paano natin siya record. Talagang mabalik sa akin yung mga araw na yun. People don't look at albums as albums anymore, but Ano ba dito yung best? Give it to me. Must it always be the best out there? I'm a firm believer in sa idea na whatever it is, it's it it is what it is. Eh. So parang kung ganon yung nature ng industry at this point na sa views siya based. Parang well ganon na ganon naman eh. Ako naman yung sa akin kasi hindi hindi ko naman dun binibilang ang yung what makes like what what makes a hit song a hit. It doesn't have to be like a million people watching. It can be like one person inspired by it. How I listen personally, how I listen to to uh, to our artists per album pa rin ako eh. Parang kasi may may kwento yung per album na yun. Kahit na yung next track pa rin, eh, medyo ayos lang pero uh, kailangan daanan yun para ma, para mapakinggan yung buong kwento ng album na yun. Pinggo ng music ang Pilipino <coughs> is sweet, diba? Um, ano yung OPM album or song na palagay niyo hindi alam ng tao na gusto? Huling El Bimbo. Kasi, yung sinasabi ni Ted Mark na, list, na style of listening na you listen to an entire album, yun yung song na dahil napakinggan ko siya, pinakinggan ko yung buong album. Dati yung pinapakinggan ko lang yung mga alam kong kanta ng bata ko. Yung pinaforward ko sa mga singles, gano'n. Ayun, may sino ka man. Tapos dahil doon, pinakinggan ko yung yung multi-text na record na meron yung tatay ko. Tapos yung album na discover ko si si <laughs> si Ray Valera. Yes, yes. Rico J, Puno, Cartada Diaz. Basically, sinasabi ni Cartada Diaz, parang yung babae, parang, Ooh, you're a 10. <laughs> Pero ano siya, sa, diba, 70s, uh, suave, and yeah, big fan of the 70s music. Lagi ko naalala, or lagi na pag uh, narinig ko na ngayon, parang nakita ko siya sa akin ngayon at kaya na Kasi, Yeah, yung, yung, oh, yung, no, no, no. yung lyrics para ang yung point ng kanta yung music parang uh, pinapakilala mo sa akin na parang meron ng pag-ibig na na meron for it <laughs> oh, ano favorito niyong track sa bagong album? Yeah. Bag Hari um, it actually appears twice may acoustic version tapos may full band version tapos gusto ko lang yung bigat niya both lyrically and uh, in terms of sound so uh, Uh, favorite ko, I guess, yung uh, Koda kasi tunog luma siya and may hiligaw sa mga old sounding songs or old songs. So, uh, yeah, yun ang favorite ko. Ako, Butterflies kasi first time namin gumawa ng something tunog. Old school jazz, medyo na hindi mo pwede siya. Saka nagraro ako sa bass for the first time. Ako rin, Butterflies. Kasi ang sayo na pahingan. 